Welcome. All right. So I love these types of problems because when students start looking at this, um, you know, they kind of get a little stumbled because remember cotangent theta represents the x-coordinate divided by the y-coordinate. It's a ratio. And a lot of times when students are looking at this, when we're trying to evaluate cotangent, we're trying to find what is the angle when our x value over our y value equals the square root of 3 over 3. Now remember, that's a simplified answer. Because if you look at, if you take your x over your y for each one of these, you're going to be like, well, which one of those is going to be square root of 3 over 3? So a lot of times what we have to do is do this simplifying. And once you do enough of this, you'll be able to see the answer very quickly. But it could be many, our angle could be um, a whole bunch of answers. So let's say if our angle was, if we said cotangent of pi over 6, that would be my square root of 3 over 2 divided by 1 half. If I said it was cotangent of pi over 4, then that would be the square root of 2 over 2 divided by the square root of 2 over 2. And if we said it was the cotangent of pi over 3, then that would be 1 half divided by the square root of 3 over 2. Now, obviously, I know it's not going to be one of these answers because those only have 0 and 1 in them. So it's either going to be undefined or 0. Um, so now what we need to do is simplify each one of these to determine you know, which one of these is going to simplify to square root of 3 over 2. Well, here, my 2's divide out. So therefore, I'm left with square root of 3 over 1. Well, close, but not exactly the correct. This one just goes to 1. So therefore, we know our answer has to be our angle pi thirds. However, let's just, uh, let's just go and simplify this. Again, the 2's divide out, so I'm left with square 1 over square root of 3. Rationalize the denominator, and therefore I'm left with the square root of 3 over 3. So therefore, we know our angle is going, one of our angles is going to be pi over 3. But now what I need to do is determine, well, when exactly is pi over 3? Is that the only angle that I'm going to have that? Well, so let's go and take a look at that angle. So again, our point pi thirds which occurs at 1 half comma square root of 3 over 2. Now, this is not the only time this point occurs on our unit circle. It also occurs over here, over here, and over here. Here, it's negative 1 half comma square root of 3 over 2. Here, it's negative 1 half comma square root of 3 over 2, negative. Here, it's 1 half comma square root of 3 over 2. Sorry, that's negative. So in the lower quadrants, our 3 and our 4, our y's are negative. And in the second and the third, our x's are negative. Well, here it produces a positive square root of 3 over 2. Now, if, if we did either the second or the fourth quadrant, we know one, term, one coordinate is positive, one is negative. Therefore, the ratio is always going to be negative. But if I look at this third quadrant ratio, I have a negative over a negative. So therefore, that's also going to be positive. So now, to determine what this angle, well, if here's pi thirds, that's 2 pi for thirds. That would be 3 pi thirds. So therefore, this angle is just going to be 4 pi thirds. So my other angle for my so right, two values for theta are going to be square root of 3 over 3. Uh, my values for theta are going to be pi thirds and 4 pi thirds. Thanks.